What's up, guys? Let's see if I can... What's up, guys? If you guys haven't heard, there was a tragic accident that happened in a BJJ school. Um, I don't have all of the info, but... I was reading about this a little bit. No, Paul Smith, this is not clickbait. Um, it's pretty crazy. So let me uh, let me get into this a little bit. I'm trying to get some information so I can, you know, I don't want to get it completely wrong. I know I got most of it. I got most of what I what happened in my head. And um, there's something going on. Okay, so let me just give you what I understand. Again, I do not understand everything. I am not a complete expert on what happened. I'm just literally, this just hit me today. And I heard about it actually yesterday. But what hit me today was I saw the video today, just a little while ago. So what's up, guys? We got 50 people in here. That's pretty good. Um, check it out. There's a jujitsu instructor. I might, I'm trying to pull up. I got my laptop right here. I'm trying to pull up some more info on it. But BJJ Black Belt is going with a white belt. It sounded in the beginning like he took, like, I the first article I read sounded like it was like a first day guy, like a total beginner. So looks like it was down in Del Mar, Joseph says, in like uh, San Diego area. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm Leonardo, sorry. Um, right now, I don't want to talk about um, any other techniques, guys. Um, I want to try to keep it on the subject. So a white belt, it, he was not a complete beginner. It looks like he was training. He has a little bit of competition experience. He was a white belt. It sounded, it sounds like, if I have the correct figure, he's been training about three years. Okay. So these, these are the things we know. The guy has been training about three years. Instructor, what was explained to me when I first heard about it was the instructor was trying to use uh, commonly called like a Leo Vieira four role. So back in 2003, Leo Vieira in ADCC was, and before that, but that's usually where most people have seen it. Um, Leo Vieira used this forward roll back take, this rolling back take when a guy's in a turtle and the move, the move can be dangerous hundred percent. So when I heard it, I immediately thought, Oh no. And it, a black belt instructor did it to a white belt and the white belt didn't know what was going on and he breaks his neck. And he paralyzes the student. And so what I'm hearing, let me get it all out. What I'm hearing is the guy breaks his neck. He's, he becomes a quadriplegic. This is the story. And then he wins a court case. Uh, Henry Gracie gets involved, I guess, as an as a expert, a legal expert on the situation. Uh, not legal expert. You guys know what I mean. Uh, legally, he's the expert on jujitsu, so therefore, he helps the uh, the plaintiff in the uh, court case, and then they award him. The figure I'm reading is forty six million. I don't know where this forty six million comes from, 
But uh, so you're looking for a case number. I don't. I, again, I don't know that. But uh, let me let me try to. I think I'm getting most of it out. So this poor white belt and poor instructor, the black belt does this rolling back take and injures the student. So now this is how I'm hearing about it. Not only is Henry Gracie's name being thrown out there as the, the guy in court that kind of like, you know, kind of proved the case that, that it was negligent or maybe, maybe flagrant. I've heard the word flagrant. Um, I don't know what word they're talking about, but I want to say this. Whether, okay, do I think it was flagrant? No, I don't think it was flagrant. I don't think the black belt was trying to hurt the white belt. It looked like they were training. It looked like he was a student at the at the school. You know, it wasn't like a random student. I, it looks like, you know, it was the instructor and wasn't anything like a challenge match or anything like that. So I don't think it was flagrant as in, you to describe what I mean by flagrant is the, the, the black belt didn't try to do it maliciously. Okay, now I, I'm seeing some people already say, and this is, let me bring in, let me bring in Tom DeBlas. So Tom DeBlas right now has been doing a lot of this on his social media, talking about it, and, and he's kind of on the other side. So we've got this little argument brewing over this. Was this, uh, you know, was this really uh, malicious? And, and it's almost, I, again, I don't know everything that was said by Henry Gracie, but at least the way this is being framed is there's an argument between the Henry Gracie side and it depends on what word we use. Again, if you use the word malicious, I am not on Henry Gracie's side if that's what he's using. And I don't even know that he's using that word. Tom DeBlas is on the side of it wasn't, it was just an accident freak accident. The student had some experience. It, it, it's just that. I, I don't know that I have Henry Gracie's point of view. I, I didn't see a video. I didn't see anything like that. I know some people want to see the video. All right. Let me, let me see if I can pull this up. I saw it on Instagram. Anybody know how to, can I watch? Let me see. Can I watch my Instagram? I'm trying to stall, guys. Sorry, I'm not prepared. Hope you guys are doing well. I went to a wrestling wrestling clinic today for Greco-Roman. Learned some cool Greco-Roman stuff. The life of a uh, martial arts instructor is great. I love it. What's up, guys? Okay, so I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up uh, Leo Vieira, too. I want you guys to see. I want you guys to see Leo Vieira. And I also want you to see the actual accident. So we're going to pull up Leo Vieira. All right. Okay, guys. So, okay, guys, here. I've got... Uh, Leo Vera trying to take the back of, um, let's see if I can get this. See, he takes Eddie Bravo's back. Let me turn off that music. You guys see that back take? Okay. We're going to do this again. Sorry about that. Let's do it again. So you see, he's in the turtle. He's double under. Can't get the hooks. So he forward rolls, it forces Eddie Bravo to roll. And when it forces Eddie Bravo to roll, he goes for hooks. Okay, common, common move. Not common like you see it all the time, but very well known move. I, I was doing this move, shoot. I was doing this move five years before that happened. You know, that the Leo Vieira doing it in that match with Eddie. So it's a move that was taught to me Back in the mid-90s, late mid to late 90s. 
Um, let me see if I can pull up the actual uh, move. Oh, man. So, freak accident. But once I show it to you guys, again, this is not the best way to show it. But um, I'm trying here. I'm trying. I don't, I don't really know how to find it. If anybody knows how to find it, please let me know. Um, I think the guy's name was, I think it was Jack Greener. So. Yeah, this is getting tough. I'm, I'm failing you guys right now. I'm sorry. It's getting boring. We got a hundred people watching and I'm, I'm not prepared. All right, guys. If someone, oh, I found it. Okay. So here we go. All right, guys, check it out. So if you guys can see, okay, so watch. It's going to play again right here. Look at this. You guys in the turtle. He, the instructor flips over kind of to the left. And the guy ends up, unfortunately, freak, you know, freak situation. Breaks his neck. It looks terrible. Okay. One more time. Check it out. Okay. All right, guys, look. I'm going to give it to you. Now, now, here's the thing. Oh, this is terrible. I am not in any way. Look, I love Tom DeBlas. I think he's a great guy. He's been doing a lot of great things lately with the, um, I know he's been like super anti-bullying. He's been on the, the bullying situation, which I, you know, I, I definitely applaud him for everything he's doing to help um, with that. It's terrible, that subject. Um, yeah, so people are talking about waivers being signed. Listen, guys. I'm, I'm kind of right in the middle on this and I got to tell you what I really think because I think there's way too many, way too many, listen to me, please, way too many jujitsu people right now are looking at it and saying, sorry, bro, it's an accident. It happens. Freak accident. I'm hearing this way too much. So I, I again, I got it in my own comment section and I need to explain something to you guys. Yes, it was an accident. Yes, it was not malicious. The instructor, I'm sure, was not trying to hurt him. But there is a serious problem when a black belt, I'm saying this very sternly because I'm reading too much on the internet right now. I'm going to show you again, Charlie. Chill. I'm going to show you again. Let me get this out. There's too many people that are siding with the instructor. There's too many, it's too much. And here's why we should not. Martial arts is dangerous. And when you are a black belt in jujitsu, and this has nothing to do with his skill level, I don't care if the dude's an IBJJF world champ, it has nothing to do with it. I'm gonna show it again, Charlie, chill the hell out. Look, I don't care if you're a world champ, if you truly, understand your craft, you will not do what he did. And, and this is important. It's not about the Leo Vieira rolling back take. It has nothing to do with that. What he did to that guy is not the Leo Vieira rolling back take. Okay. What makes what he did negligent, in my opinion, I'm now st st saying right now, stating that he made a huge mistake, huge mistake. It, it's a mistake like if I had a knife and I was cutting a steak and I'm supposed to be a knife expert and I miss the steak and slice your arm off, I'm negligent. I'm sorry. Accidents can happen, but this is not an accident in my opinion. This is negligence of understanding. Ah, Paisano just said it. He trapped the guy's arm. This is why 
I think it's negligent. It's not an accident, guys. It, 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 it's an accident in the sense of he had no in, ill intent. Yes, I feel bad for the instructor too. But guys, as instructors, we have to do better. We must do better. He had the guy's arm trapped. And when you put weight forward in a turtle position, the only hope for his student would have been if his head was placed on the left side, if he had placed the left side of his head in the mat, he would have been okay. But the problem is, that's not what happened. Even though you don't have the best angle, I know mechanics. I saw it once. I saw this video one time. And I immediately went, ooh. And I watched it twice and I immediately noticed what was completely wrong. And so if there's so many people out there thinking that this is just a freak accident, we aren't doing a very good job of teaching jujitsu and body mechanics and physics. If you have somebody's arm trapped and their forehead, let alone this side of the head, but just the forehead goes right in the mat. If the forehead just square, let alone this, if this goes in the mat, and you do not have a posting hand to try to relieve the pressure. The person behind who's gripping and does the forward roll is completely responsible for what ends up happening. You cannot jump and flip and think that that guy's gonna be okay. He's gonna hurt his neck. It does not make any sense, in my opinion, in my opinion, for an instructor, and I may say black belt, to do this. This is dangerous. It's, you're gonna have to get on the mat, and I'm probably gonna have to do a video, like showing. Um, imagine, just the right side of my head is posted in the forehead, forehead in the mat, in a turtle position. And you decide to trap my left arm, and then roll. What do you think is going to happen? That neck's not going to get out. There's no way to get it out. It can't get out. When a person has a free hand, okay, they will be able to relieve some of that pressure with their arm and help it. The other thing I can say, even though you can do the rolling back take without being double under, some people mention that. If you're over, like on a seatbelt, the shoulder of the person doing the roll is there to push. It hurts, but it is there to push your head to make sure your body flips. If you don't have something there to force it and the neck gets caught and then the body weight pulls the body over, what do you think is going to happen to that neck? It's way too much. This was, this was something I would think a white belt would do. This is something I would watch a white belt, watch a Leo Vieira highlight reel, and then think, oh, let me try that next class. And then a white belt does it to another white belt. That I could understand. But the instructor, it, it, it's just too much. It, 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 it means that he grabbed something, he trapped the guy's arm, and then he thought, oh, I could do it with a trapped arm. It's just, it's not kosher. It's not cool. All right, guys, here it is again. All right. So I want you guys to see it now. See the arm trapped. We got, uh, let me see if I could get rid of, let me see if I can get rid of these, uh, Comments. What am I doing? I don't even know how to use YouTube. I'm a YouTuber and I don't even know how to use YouTube. Somebody help me out here. I'm, I'm struggling. Can I get rid of... How do I swipe away the comments? Huh. I'm learning it on my iPhone right now. Sorry, guys. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, I think he has mostly recovered. 
somebody said, where is hide comments? How do I do that? Oh, whatever. All right. Let me see if I can get this on there. Forget about it. There we go. Okay, guys, look again. I, this is actually flipped, right? So I think you guys are seeing it on the other side. See the neck get caught? See it? See, he has the arm trapped. When you push forward, the guy's head is in the mat. His head is in the mat. You aren't putting your shoulder on the back of his head. You're just pushing his head in the mat, jumping. Super dangerous. We got to do better. We got to do better. Uh, I'm not saying the instructor's not good. He's probably a great guy. He's probably an awesome dude, too. He could be the nicest guy in the world. He could be a world champion. But if you do that, it shows a lack of understanding of the physics. And I'm sorry, guys, it's terrible. But we can't say, even though I love Tom DeBlast, we cannot say that it was just an accident. We can't say that. Because that means that it's okay to be terrible. That to, you know, and not care for our students. Now, I don't want to go as far as like, you know, Henry Gracie, I don't let any white belts train for six months. You know, I'm, I'm not going to go there, you know, but we, we, I'll tell you what, this is going to affect my life. After seeing it, it's going to affect my life. It's probably going to affect a whole lot of instructors lives. We need to make sure whoever is teaching the class that's in charge that you guys are talking about safety. We are discussing what level we're competing at while we roll. And we, we need to make sure that we aren't doing, again, for lack of better words, crazy techniques. Techniques that have potential for injury. You know, one technique, like a, let's just say a Kani Basami. Kani Basami uh, commonly da damages the knee. You know, if it's not landed perfectly, or not even perfect, but just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just has to be landed properly. If it's landed properly, it works fine. But Kani Basami, under, under, in sparring, doesn't do that. Kani Basami, in sparring, people are moving, they, 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 they change the angles, and the next thing you know, a scissor takedown. Yeah, scissor takedown, and then a guy blows his knee. So, Kani Basami is outlawed at tons of schools. Tons of schools. I don't allow jumping guard. Somebody just mentioned that. I don't do, we don't do jumping guard. We don't do Kani Basami. Uh, if you pick somebody up that has an arm bar or a triangle, you make sure you are responsible. We don't suplex guys straight on their necks. If you want to do a suplex kind of over the shoulder, I'm okay with that. But it needs to be brought with care. Um, it's things like that. We have rules for certain techniques. But now we have this move, which I'm not against the move. I literally, I swear, guys, I just taught this move like a week ago. You know, a week ago. I hope to be showing you guys on video uh, some of my versions of this this kind of back take and attack. Um, done a little bit different than the way Leo Vieira is doing it, but anyway, huh? We is if you get a submission, you can't crank it. Um, you know, we we if you're doing a neck crank, I always say, hey, look, I'm okay with neck cranks. We just need to do them very, very slow. And that's why I think this is negligent. This is the same as someone doing a neck crank, but not going slow. If you're doing a neck crank, but think about it. He put the guy's head in the mat and jumped. There's no way for the guy to, to decide. It doesn't matter what that guy, it doesn't matter how many uh, break falls or four rolls that guy does. It doesn't matter. 
because the physics of the position don't allow him to. It do, doesn't allow him to. And especially, I don't care, he's been training for three, three years. You get, it doesn't matter that the guy's a black belt. Doesn't matter. Guy's gonna get neck broken every single time in that position. Now, had he kind of pulled the guy and put him on the left side of his forehead and then kind of rolled, would have been fine. But you cannot put a guy in a square turtle, push forward, get him on the square of his center of his forehead, let alone the right side, and then jump to the left. Can't do it. Got to understand the physics. So I've uh, talked a lot about it. Um, horrible situation. I feel bad for everyone. I mean, and I'm, I'm glad that I hear the guy's doing better. The, the, um, the instructor, I feel horrible for him. I'm sure he doesn't mean it. I'm sure he's a good guy. But we have to do better. Simple as that. We need to make sure we're not doing crazy stuff, guys. This should scare the shit out of you. Instructors, this should scare you. This should make you feel like I feel right now. That I need to make sure that I protect my students. That when we're doing stuff, just think about it. What did I just say? I feel that this black belt shouldn't have done that. But think about it. What is a white belt going to do? A white belt won't know. I, a white belt won't know. So it doesn't matter. Like, yes, I think a black belt shouldn't do this. He shouldn't have done what he did. But think about this. I, like, I think that he should have enough experience to not do this. But think about this. A white belt would never have the experience. He sees a Leo Vieira uh, highlight reel. Next thing you know, he's rolling back taken. Flipping guys right on their head, like throwing their bodies right over their head, breaking the neck. Man, this is just terrible. And this didn't even happen recently, guys. I think the court case just uh, got settled or whatever, the settlement. But I guess it's, this happened quite a long time ago, just finally the, the settlement. But I didn't know about this until just yesterday, I think I found out. So a couple days ago was when it, it kind of hit the, hit the web, I think. Um, terrible, terrible situation, tragic for everyone all around. So let's learn something. Let's be safer with each other. Let's not do the crazy techniques. And I'm not saying, you, you know, you're like, well, I want to prepare for ADCC, so I want to get crazy. You know, yeah, when you're going with somebody else that knows what they're doing, but even when you have that, you don't do crazy, stupid stuff. I'm going to show you guys sometime... I had a guy, white belt, explosive, strong. He thought up some weird ass move and hurt one of my high school wrestlers because my wrestler was posted, right? He's got his hands posted in the turtle position and he was out front. He decided it was a good idea to grab one of the arms like an arm bar. Imagine one guy's in a turtle with his arms out. And, and you're out in the front headlock like this, he decided it was good to go to one side, grab onto his arm like an arm bar, and then sit. He sat on the other arm and pulled the arm bar. Like he thought, well, I'll just do this really fast and throw him over to his back with this kind of arm bar lever while he's sitting on the other guy's arm. Like... I'm lucky that my kid only got a hyperextension and he was able to get back in his wrestling season like three weeks later, you know? But it's like stuff like that. That happened at my gym. Think about it. That was just a hyperextended arm. But it's stuff like that that gets you seriously injured. And in this case, like paralyzed, guys. Paralyzed. Yes, I hear he's doing better right now but still considered a, a quadriplegic. It's terrible. Terrible. So let's, what am I saying, guys? I'm not upset with anybody. I love Tom DeBlas. I love Henry Gracie. I love, you know, I, I care for these guys, the, the instructor, the student, all of them. But, um, yeah, I, gosh, I keep saying the same damn thing. I hear, I'm hearing, way too much support 
that it was just an accident. And it was, it, it, we, we can't do that, guys. We can't say it was just an accident. It's not just an accident. You have to know what you're doing. You can't grab somebody's, trap their arm, and put their head in the floor, and then jump and flip over and go, well, it's your fault you didn't roll. I showed you how to do a forward roll. Why didn't you roll? The student didn't have a choice. He couldn't even, he couldn't do anything. If I was under there and some person that was my size or bigger grabbed me in that same position, I'd be screwed. I'd be screwed. It doesn't matter. Experience does not matter. It has nothing to do with it. And that's what I'm trying to say. So guys, look, agree with me or not, I don't care because I know what I see. I know what I see. I'm, I'm convinced, not malicious, it's not malicious. It's just, it's an accident, but it's an accident that we need to do better in the future we, to avoid these accidents. They, they, not, not like this, we, we, can't, we can't paralyze people like this. We have to know what we're doing. We have to know a lot more, okay? Think about what other sport, combat sport, martial arts, where this could happen. Think about it. Instructor, boxing instructor, sparring with a beginner, punches a guy, maybe maybe a light tap and the guy kind of passes out. The guy would have to fall in the perfect, like what, what was that? Remember Million Dollar Baby? Well, remember the movie? What happened? You guys remember? Didn't she fall, hit, hit her, hit her uh, what she hit her head on? Come on, you guys. I know you guys seen the movie. She, she like hit her head on something. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, on the stool, on the, on the stool, was that what it was? So she hits her head on the stool and then she's all messed up. So like, check it out. That's what would have to happen. That's what would have to happen in boxing. You know, wrestling it would have to be something crazy like this. Like, again, some guy does a move that you shouldn't be doing, you know, that just breaks someone. I, ah, man, it's just terrible. Man, it's terrible. And I'm, guys, while, while this is going on, I'm watching it over and over again. So I'm done with this. Guys, I'm sorry. Um, I said my piece. Um, we got to do better. No more... Do, do some safety meetings, everybody. Monday, do a safety meeting at class. Talk about safety. Talk about, talk about how you treat one another during sparring rounds. Obviously, even during drilling, you don't want to have somebody do something weird during drilling either. But especially sparring rounds, talk about the safety factors. We, I do it at least three times a week, talk about safety, if not every single day. But this, this can't happen. No more. We don't, need, we don't need to do this. It's horrible for our sport. It's hor horrible for our art. People are going to, stuff like this spreads and people go, man, I don't want to do that BJJ. I don't want to do that wrestling. I don't want to do the martial arts. I want to do the MMA. I heard that guy broke his neck. And don't make a joke about 46 million that I can't, I don't even know where that money could come from, but don't even make a joke about it because come on. You guys want to have, what is your quality of life? You want the money and, and to be a quadriplegic? Come on, man. All we have is, is, our, is our health. So we can't do this anymore. All right. Love you guys. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. See you guys next time with more great stuff. Sorry.